You said it was a busy day and you had a lot of priorities. I'm curious, what is a lower priority than this? Like the guy standing right on the other side of the orange chair. How high of a priority is taking down a medical tent at an Occupy Santa Barbara protest? What does that rate in your personal priorities? Cooperation rate's low. Failing to cooperate rate's the priority. That wasn't the question, it was taking down a medical tent. So you're not going to take it down? No, ma'am. You want to take your stuff out first before we take it, though? Take the supplies. I'm going to take the band-aids and the I'm taking it right now. One time pass. You're going to take the supplies? You want to take the supplies out? Are you going to take our supplies? Yes. No. Well, well, we will. Is that what you're going to do? You're going to take, 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 take our medical supplies. I want you to take the medical supplies. You're going to take our medical supplies. If we don't take them out, you're going to take our medical supplies. Um, I'm going to take your medical supplies. I'm going to take the tent. I don't want to take the medical supplies. I myself don't feel uh, personally, uh, it wouldn't be a responsible decision on my part to dismantle a medical tent. Period. It's in the Geneva Convention, man. As well as our constitution. So you want us to take the medical? Stuff? I don't want you to take. I don't want Nobody you to wants take anything. You to take it down. I don't want you to then take anything. Take I don't even want you to be here hassling us. Actually. No, if you want to come without your badge, you are very welcome. Yeah, you're welcome to join us six o'clock every night. We have GA and uh, noon and twelve. Yeah, as a matter of fact, then you can state in your voices as to whether you wanted these tents up or down in the first place, right? To join the you General guys want to dismantle on medical tent? That's on you. Okay. We're not going to do that. Why don't we I'm not going to do it. Medical supplies up under the other field. Okay. And I, yeah. give me one thing. You tell me if one were to go in two county now, when would they be coming out? Full with that? Yeah. You know. You know. If one was to go into county so, now. So this is a political decision to take okay. up down this medical tent. This is a political it's decision. A section, this is a political decision. On this, on yeah, the part the of uh, Santa Barbara City, to take political down our medical activism tent. under the Constitution of the United States. What do you want to go to jail for? I don't want to go to jail for anything. I know I don't want to go to jail. I don't think anybody, I don't believe anybody who wants to go uh, to jail. Especially for actually exercising their First Amendment rights. Yeah. That does seem to be kind of... It's a pretty proud you know. badge to wear. Ask Martin Luther King. So there's somebody right now passed out here and uh, oh, call him an ambulance. Guys like you sent him to jail plenty of times. And he still got his way. And so will we. This movement ain't ending until it ends. And that means until people can come out here and do stuff like this and they don't have to worry about jackboots showing up. I will say, compared to what's going on in the country, this is a lot lighter. But maybe that's only because nobody's surrounded this tent and locked arms. They're not given a reason to commit felonious assault to uphold a civil infraction. That's what I'd like to see, is whether they would actually be willing to billy club somebody to get this tent done. That's what a lot of cops are doing. Of course, a lot of cops are telling the buses to fuck off. Look at the Albany PD and the New York State Police. They told the mayor and the governor, no. We're the ones who police, not you. Well, we don't know confiscate the tent for. All this is going to do mm -hmm. is bring more people up. And every time it's been done, it has brought more people up. So thank you, officer. You are adding to our cause. Yes, we think the tent might What does evidence look like? Um, and how can I get Call the property room. Um, I think it should be in tomorrow morning as early as 6. To make an appointment or come get it. And what's okay. necessary for me to do mm -hmm. so? He was Just saying um, it would be held as evidence. Oh, true? it might be. Yeah. Let me, let me take that back. Then. Yeah, we're going to hold it as evidence until this case, this particular. Did you cite them already? I cited Mr. Johnson. Okay, oh, until that's a June. December 1st was the section on the, on the ticket, remember? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm just a couple okay. seconds. Oh, the stage now.
You should definitely write letters to all the newspapers and the white papers. You're going to have to meet with the bathroom, so you write letters. Well, I just feel that on a personal level, um, having police publicly in broad daylight is that um, dismantling a medical tent from people protesters is a good move. Not the greatest public relations. Yeah, could there be any ramifications? Well, that's for you guys. <laughs> for us, it's great PR. Okay. Thank you. Over and over and over again. <laughs> We'll be yeah. here. If you want, it'll yeah. be up on YouTube in about 20 minutes. Yeah, we're not yeah, going to check yourselves out. Seriously. Wait till you see know. how many hit. It's going to reflect. Like. Appreciate it. It's going to reflect right on the city. Just witnessed the Santa Barbara police taking down a medical tent at a protest. <laughs> By all means, yeah. I'm, like I said, I'm Without giving us definitions of what would constitute a medical tent. <laughs> kind of. Okay. You know, usually I'm there pretty early in the morning. Okay. Hang out for a little bit, and then I come down here. Yeah, have fun. You're super cool. in your bed. Yeah, if I hear yeah. someone come up there, and I'll let you know. Thanks, Steve. Very good. So how do you know him? He's been friends for years. Yeah. Hanging out at hot spots. There's been times yeah. where he's, he's showing up while I've been sitting on some <laughs> dumbass's neck who was trying to beat up friends of mine and help me out. So. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I know a bunch of them too. Yeah. They're friends. So. No, he told me it's basically it's the city attorney who lives up here who, who demanded that the tent be gone. Really? Yeah. Where does the city attorney live? He lives here. He lives up there? He lives in this building. Oh my god, that's why all this his is His name's so Steve. I forget Steve, his, I don't yeah. know his last name, but it should be Wiley? for you. Okay. I, I don't, Wiley? Wiley? Uh, big, big banner for next week. Huh. I've got a great idea for a big banner next week. Cool. Okay. You want to write it on an American flag? <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Gracias. So, you're going to put another tent up? You got an endless supply? <laughs> Hey, maybe we should get a, an, 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 some research today. Hey, <laughs> tent manufacturer.